Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. We are going to create a 2D drawing with the help of 3D model. We did this model in last tutorial. So let's see how to create a 2D drawing with the help of 3D model. In our last tutorial, we created this simple 3D model in SOLIDWORKS. Now here we are going to create a 2D drawing with the help of this model. So here we have two options. Either you can drop down this menu or open file and click make drawings or simply go to new and click here drawing and open it that's it so i'll go with this method make drawings even though you will find option from here also now once you open it will ask you size here i clicked only show standard format if you unchecked you will find too many options here see but if i am going to check you will get some standard options a3 a4 size so let's say i'll choose a3 size here you will get the size even though you have custom option also you can simply choose custom options and create it but uh, let's go for a standard size now in your right hand side you will see view palettes here and these all are the views right top view any one view you have to drag so let's say i'll drag this one now once you drag if you move cursor here and there and you will see some options this is top view right hand side view isometric view escape key or click here okay and you can simply out mm -hmm. and now simply if you want to drag any model somewhere like here that's it if i'll delete this one option then there is one more option in drawings projected view just simply click and create escape key to out i'll choose this one and first i'll increase the size for this drawing so here you will option you will find option scale use custom scale there are too many options if i'll choose one by one see it's too big for our sheet so click and customize 1.5 okay enter now see this seems little better okay now let's start with the isometric view you can define something like a style we want to see real view then draft quality i'll keep higher so drawing looks more sharper and this rest all things are same now let's start with this if you go to annotations you have one option called model items if you click this one select this one and keep dimensions any special thing you can mention it here but uh, i'll keep standard and if i say yes it will ask you confirm say yes now see it will gives you allocate all the dimensions automatically so some dimensions which you need take it and rest all just delete this Okay, this one we need here this is also we don't need okay this are we need here okay let's apply dimensions here so just go to annotations is activate smart dimension tools okay most of the things are available here okay this is the one there is a one more option this corner radius you will see r8 but we want in a some different ways so just click note and like this r8 
say ok. Now in the same way I will do this all R8 R8. Now here we, we will do one more thing. I will choose all the drawings and here you will find option documents, tolerance and precision. I will keep 0 so that we will get uh, perfect things. That's now this seems little better. Keep ladder here option inside. If you want to change this color, I will simply change layer so it will fill our requirement. Okay, that's it. Even though for this option, I will choose here hidden line visible. Now look, you will see inside options. For, for this one, I will keep this enough. Let us define dimensions for this. Okay, this for this I think this much is enough. Precision 0, I will change format, that is it. Even though if you want to add text dimension, click dimensions millimeter for the same with every dimension you can do it wherever, wherever you required. Now let us do some more things, go to drawing auxiliary view. Now cutting, choose this one vertical one and put any center of this, say ok, click ok. Now you have in two directions, one direction we already had, so I will put this one in second direction, say ok. Now this is the section view, so that you will understand inside there is a hole, these are the cutouts and these are the internal cutouts you will see. Even though you, you, you can uh, apply dimensions here also, now center mark, click center mark and click this circle and you will get a center line say ok. We already mentioned so no need to define. I will choose 0 precision. This is the way ok. Ok. This is the also you can define the things. Okay, if you want to see some more options, uh, what we can do? Detail view. Uh, this is not that complicated drawing to choose detailed view, but let's say detail view. Okay, let's define this. This will be as a detail view. Now escape, uh, we do not have that any kind of things which we can define as a def detailed view but ok, let us complete our drawing.
these are the main dimensions okay this one r shows r 30 16 so i'll choose this one diameter 30 we will put so here you'll get option add symbol click diameter 30 okay one more time note I'll choose this one, add that symbol 16, diameter 16, okay. Now, hold, select these two dimensions and here you'll find option use documents font, unchecked, click font and even though you can change the fonts style and everything, but I'll change only dimension, 2.5 mm okay see it it's become little smaller so that it's easy to add and this drawing i'll use hidden line removed because uh, we already mentioned all the hidden lines whatever zero inside and layer i'll change format that's fine. One more dimension, it's That's it. This is the uh, enough dimensions you can mention. Now let's edit this one. Right click, edit sheet format. Now let's change title. Let's say solid box exercise 126. I'll make bold. Click bold. If you want to add color, you can simply add any color. That size you can change, but that is enough. I'll say yes choose note and you can add in any things like this let's say CAD CAM tutorial bold here you can add color let's say blue size 20 okay now even though you can drag and place in proper position now here you have in the right hand side top there is option exit of the edit sheet click and exit see we edited what we need here simply even though let's add note note all dimensions in mm or millimeter for educational purpose enter you can change font let's say 20 or not say say okay you can scale or put anywhere somewhere whatever wherever you like so this is how we did a simple 2d drawing with the help of 3d model I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.